Hello, this is the Pythonic Accountant, and we are on video number seven. So we're going to continue from the video six's theme, and we're going to actually pick up from a little bit of the starter code that we had from that one. So in video six, what we did was we took a look at bringing in a trial balance and using dictionaries to apply the description and financial statement groupings to the trial balance, taking uh, items from three different tabs in the Excel file. And today we're going to show how there is a much more Pythonic way uh, to do that. So instead of applying through the map function, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to actually use the merge feature within uh, the pandas library. So that's going to be a lot easier in one line. It'll be a lot more Pythonic. And after we show you that, we're going to actually do something a little fun. We're going to create a, uh, a second fake trial balance, which will represent, we'll call it the prior year or prior period trial balance and show how you can also use the merge uh, method to merge together uh, current year and prior year numbers into one uh, comparative trial balance and then we'll calculate a variance column so we can see what the change is. So let's go ahead and we'll import pandas and we're going to load up the same trial balance file we used in the last video. Again we've got three tabs within the file TV balances, TV description, and financial statement groupings and we're going to create three individual data frames uh, for each of those tabs. And let's just show you what's in the beginning of this one. You've got uh, the first five records. You show account number and balance. And again, these, these balances are uh, randomly generated. I just generated a random integer from negative 100,000 to positive 100,000. So previously, we had to do a few things to create a dictionary for the description and a dictionary for the group and then apply them and add them. Um, we're, I'm going to show you how you can just easily merge these. So let's take dfval.merge and we want to see what we want to merge. We want to, uh, this is considered the left part of the merge. Now we're going to add in the right part of the merge. So we want to do df description and then enter is fine on technically we actually want to do left. So merge, uh, you can specify how you want to do it, inner, outer, left, or right. Um, what that means is that tells you if one of them has accounts and the other one has, a, if we're merging on account, that is, one of them has uh, a set of accounts, another one's going to have another set of accounts. If the accounts don't match between the two, you want to tell it which accounts you want to win and end up in the final merge. So with inner, all it, it, that says that if the account is in both, or if the ID that you're merging on is in both, it'll end up in the final merge. But if, if one of them is missing it, then it's going to drop it. So in this case, we don't want to drop anything. So um, we're going to say how equals left. And in reality, in this example, it's not going to matter because our description has all the accounts that this one has. But just to be safe, this is would be the right way to do it. On, we want to do it on account. And this only works because our other two files also have a column called account, so that's consistent. And I think that's all I really need for this one. So let's see what this looks like. And that was beautiful and super easy. So you've got your account, your balance, and your description. And if you want to see something really cool, um, you can do something in pandas and a lot of things in Python where you just add on another uh, method to the end of this one. And so it just kind of creates this nice, you know, little pipeline of methods. So we're going to do another merge right on here with df group how equals left again and on equals, uh, I think it's financial statement grouping. Let's see if this works. And what did I mess up? Financial statement grouping. Let's see what that column's called. Oops. Columns. Oh boy, typing all over the place. Financial statement grouping. Financial statement. Oh yeah, sorry. We are not merging on financial statement grouping. We're merging on account. That was silly. But we're bringing in the financial statement grouping. So that was easy. So great. We've got, uh, we, this doesn't save it. We've just shown the output. But what we've done here is shown that uh, we've tacked on the description and then the financial statement grouping. So that was super easy. We could save this as df new and then df new dot head gives you the first five and that was very easy. So yeah, super Pythonic. I like this way a lot better. Um, so now let's create some fake 
prior year balances. So what we're going to do is we're going to import random. So that way we've got a random uh, library. That's a standard library. And what we're going to do is create some new balances here. So I'm going to create a copy of the data frame. So I'm going to call it dfpy equals df.copy and dfpy uh, um, balance. We're going to overwrite that with equals. And this is uh, getting to be a little bit more of an intermediate uh, type of thing in Python called the list comprehension. But I love list comprehension, so definitely recommend looking into them. So we're going to do random.rand int from negative 100,000 to 100,000 for throwaway variable in range length of the dfpy. And what that should do is dfpy.head and dfpy. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. We want df val, not just the overall df. So df val py, df val py, and df val py. OK, let's see if this works. And what did I mess up here? df val, I'm not quite sure. So df val py. That looks right. No, <laughs> forgot to, I changed everything up here, but I forgot to change this one. Cool. So this is our new numbers. If you look at our original one, you can see you've got completely different numbers here. So this is awesome. So um, what we're going to do is I'm not going to, you know, if I wanted to, I could save this to a CSV file and then load it back up. But in essence, I would just be loading it back up into a new data frame here. So now we've got our DF bow and our new prior year df bow and we want to group these together but we've got a problem here if we try to merge these as is um, it's going to give us a problem because we have a balance column that we want to show that one balance is from the prior year one balance is from the current year so if we just try to merge them let's see what happens df merge and we want to merge it with df py and we want to do this time i'm going to do how is outer even though we haven't dropped you know what let's do something fun here let's actually drop a couple of these so we can show that it actually is a little bit different so df val py drop and we want to drop let's do one and three and so we've actually dropped those records so df val py equals so perfect we actually removed a couple of the records from df val py so what that means is we've got a couple of interesting things happening here we're going to try to merge the two together and we want to get two columns for our balances one for current year one for prior year and we want it to include all the accounts that are in both trial balances because otherwise it might drop ones from one year versus the other year and we don't want to drop anything we want to include everything so we're going to merge on outer so how equals outer and we're going to merge on our favorite accounts and then let's let's just leave it and see what happens here. Okay, so we don't like this. This gives us balance X and balance Y. But what's nice is we can actually control the naming convention here. And if we say suffixes, so we say suffixes, and right now it gives you underscore X underscore Y. Uh, instead, what we can do is we can do, uh, let's do current year and prior year. And that is beautiful. So we've got account, balance current year, balance prior year. And you'll see there's this NAN. What that means is these are the two that we had dropped from the prior year. They're coming in, which is good because we wanted to include everything. If we did inner, we would lose those. So watch this. See, those records are now missing, which is bad. So we want outer. And what happens now is uh, let's go ahead and save this. So comparable df comp equals that and we've got this now df comp head and so let's uh <clears throat> let's fill these nans with zero because that's how we really want to see it so we can do it back up here so that fill na zero and now that's fixed um, now the one thing that's interesting is we've got uh floats here but integers here 
So I don't think that's a problem. I would probably fix that if I was really dealing with this. So let's just go ahead and ignore that for now and make sure it's not a problem uh, when we create our difference column. So let's do df comp, let's call it diff equals df comp balance current year minus df comp balance prior year. Here. And then let's go ahead and check the head there. And oh, whoops, I did equals instead of minus. So let's fix that again. And I should probably, oh man, I should probably start this over. So let's do this. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, boom, boom, boom. There we go. All right, now we're looking good. So here's an easy example. Um, current year had a 24,498, last year was zero, the difference is 24,498. Current year is 79,000, last year is 73,000, difference is, yeah, about 6,000, that sounds right. So, cool, there you have it. You've got now a trial balance that's comparative, you got current year, got prior year, and let's say you wanted to go ahead and merge in the uh, extra elements now that you've got everything. So let's go ahead and just copy this code here. We can call this DF comp new and this is going to be df comp dot merge and then we're going to merge it with the description and the group and df comp new should now have the same things uh, we have up here the current year prior year and difference and then we should also tack on the description and finish them grouping so there you've got it i am very pleased and hopefully you are too so thanks again for watching. This has been another video from the Pythonic Accountant. If you liked it, please hit like, share with your friends, subscribe to the channel. And if you have any suggestions or thoughts, uh, you can uh, leave a comment. And I would love to get some ideas from you guys. Thanks and have a good one.